Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Once again, I have another book to read to you named Jack and the Beanstalk. Once upon a time, there was a poor widow and her only son, Jack. Life was very hard for them ever since a giant had killed Jack's father. At last, all Jack and his mother had left was their cow. One day, Jack's mother said sadly, We have nothing left to eat and no money for food. Jack! You must take the cow to the market and sell her. Jack loved his cow and didn't want to sell her, but he knew there was no other choice. Jack set out early the next day for market. On the way, Jack met a mysterious old man who offered him five dazzling rainbow-colored beans in exchange for the cow. Their magic, the old man said. Jack agreed to the trade. Jack ran home to show his mother the amazing beans. Trading a cow for five worthless beans, she said. Now we'll starve. She threw the beans out of the window, and they both went to bed hungry. When Jack woke up the next morning, he found that an enormous beanstalk had sprung up outside of the window. He quickly began to climb it, going higher and higher, until at last he reached the top. There Jack saw an enormous castle. A giant woman answered the castle door, and Jack said, I am very hungry. Can you give me something to eat? No, said the woman. You must go away. My husband, the giant, is very mean, and he will eat you. But Jack begged. And finally, the giant's wife let him in. Just then, they heard a loud thump, thump, thump. He's coming, the woman cried. Hide in the oven. Jack jumped into the oven. The giant came in shouting, Fee, fi, fo, fum. Look out. Human, here I come. Eyes, ears, hands, and feet. I smell something good to eat. Nonsense, said his wife. The giant sat down and called for his magic hen. The giant roared, and then the hen laid a golden egg. Then the giant dozed off. Jack crept out of the oven. Then he snatched up the hen and ran away as fast as he could. He climbed down the beanstalk and took the hen to his mother. Jack and his mother are well and living happily by selling the hen's golden eggs. But... It wasn't long before Jack became curious and decided to climb the beanstalk again to seek more treasures. He returned to the castle and knocked on the big door. May I come in? asked Jack. No, said the giant's wife. The last time I helped you, you stole my husband's hen. But Jack begged, and the giant's wife let him in. Just then, they heard a loud thump, thump, 
thump. Quick, said the giant's wife, hide in this kettle. The giant came in shouting, Fee, fi, fo, fum. Look out, human, here I come. Eyes, ears, hands, and feet. I smell something good to eat. You're always saying that, his wife replied. Come and eat your supper. After supper, the giant got out his magical harp. Play, demanded the giant, and the golden harp began to play all by itself. After a while, the giant fell asleep, snoring very loudly. Jack jumped out of the kettle, grabbed the harp, and ran. The harp cried out, Master, Master! The giant awoke. Jack climbed down the beanstalk with the giant close behind him. As Jack neared the bottom, he cried, Mother, bring the axe! Jack jumped to the ground and took the axe. He struck the beanstalk as hard as he could. Down came the beanstalk and down came the giant. So all ended well for Jack and his mother. As for the wonderful beanstalk, it never grew again. The end. Thank you for joining me today. And next time, I will have another book to read to you. Until then.